welcome to episode two of uh, the vlog. Um, yeah, probably a less productive kind of episode, but hopefully it'll be shot over a couple of days. So I'm seeing uh, Mr. Jamie Russell today, who runs Moose's Music Hall. Um, we're just going to have a meeting about what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to do a little woodwork for him as well, which is a separate little thing which I'll talk to you about later. But yeah, I haven't been awake that long. So. <coughs> Waiting for a cab to take me to Jamie's. Um, I um, help him out with his wife's business every now and then. They uh, make these little charming wooden toys called uh, Lunar Roos. Um, they are really charming, they make their own little designs. And um, yeah, they're doing all sorts of that. They've just had a, a workshop um, built. So I'm going to go and have a look at that today. I'm going to go and give him a hand with that. Um, I'm the sort of fella that goes into a bathroom and stares at himself when there's no one around and quickly gets about 80 faces that he thinks is mildly amusing to himself in the mirror and then gets caught. You know what I mean? Do you ever do that? Is that just me? Yeah, I think it's You don't do that? You don't do that. No one goes into the bathroom and goes in the mirror when no one's looking? I just look at myself and I think... And this metal box today. Um, yeah, man, a bit of carpentry. How long did it do? How Say long did it take to put up? It's taken a few weeks, isn't it? It's longer than what we thought. Mm. We wanted to get it done in January, but then we was too busy because we had backlog from Christmas orders. And then we started work, sort of... I think it was the first or second week in February. Like, yeah. you know, near the end of March now. It's taken a while. Yeah. Had to close the shop. We've had a few things go up on, online and stuff, but uh, it ain't been operating the way it was prior oh. to getting this up, but now it's up. We should just be able to crack on. So I was in there yesterday and uh, it's pretty smooth sailing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I look like I've had about one hour sleep in a week I which everyone is everyone looks like that at the moment. I, think, I think it's a good look Sunday. really usually i have a bit of a flop going on with my hair it's a bit flaccid it's like a flaccid locks you know it looks like a nail brush yeah it is actually i use it to um you know there's a, a dilapidated old lady who walks down the street every now and then in bare feet with a with a loaf of bread sometimes she needs me to uh, use my head to alleviate some of the sores <laughs> on her inner thigh that, and I use this, that and that's how I make a bit of money on the side. You say, see, that's been your main source of income. It has, since been, lockdown. It, it has, yeah, because I haven't been able to gig, of course. Um, so I've just had to rub one out on Deirdre. You know, this is the workshop. This is a separate little thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, where Jamie. Um, <coughs> or the operation, makes the first <laughs> protocol. Anyway, uh, this is where the dolls begin their life, and then <coughs> obviously we go in the house for more lots of paint and packaging. Yeah, these um, they get sanded together um, and smoothed out, and then they get turned into those little a lunar roos, which I will leave a. All of these are cut. Yeah. Those about two hundred and forty odd dolls. Right. We've got forty to sand through today, and uh, yeah. Yeah, it feels a little bit official with this. Uh, <coughs> Just, just obviously. Great a, place, eh? <laughs> there's a few more things to do. We've got to get some proper workbenches installed, like some wooden ones fitted, and the electrics are currently running off. An extension is going to the house and the There is a pipe down the garden that uh. can be fitted, and then the, the uh, <coughs> fuse box to go in. Yeah, man. Well, no. I think that conspiracy theories really are just people. People want the world to be a lot more interesting than it actually. Yeah. It actually is. Yeah, and I've seen them. people, I've genuinely seen people that get really roped into the, the conspiracy theories and they go from being intellectual people to just gradually more yeah. and more yeah. stupidity yeah. because they become so out of touch with the real world well, that their intelligence is tarnished by conspiracy theories. So if you do believe that I think the Queen's a lizard... Yeah, that might be going a bit 
Yeah, but there are people that genuinely believe it, mate, and that's what I'm saying, you know. Yeah, I know. You're like... stupid. <laughs> the Queen's not a lizard. The government, the government aren't chipping us. You've got to let people have their own fucking opinions on things. Well, no, of course. If they want to believe that, that's fine. And I think that it's okay as long as you don't base your whole life around it. As, you know, they have their coffee on the morning, whatever, their, their minds on the conspiracy theories. Oh, yeah. And I think, yeah, if you think that way, then you're probably in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I, th I don't think there's any problem with looking into conspiracy theories and... Uh, oh, keeping an open I, mind. Having yeah. an interest in an open mind as yeah. long as it doesn't control your life, as long as it yeah. doesn't make you paranoid. And yeah. well, so somebody could literally go online and go, I've seen this demon, Slender Man, you know, which is a obviously it's a creepy pasta, like, as they say. But then it's some, somewhere along the line, someone reads it and they go, oh, well, it's written down. Must be true. <laughs> I'm actually crying sand out my eyes. I should really be wearing eye protection. Oh god. Hey Jamie, have you got a have you have you got a completed doll you could show? Completed doll? Yeah. Well, the prototype used to be on there, I don't know where it's gone, everything's moved around. <laughs> Finally moving up in the Yeah, there's something here. <coughs> so this, this is what the uh, this the dolls dodgy are one though. Yeah, that's my favourite one. Some one. of the dodge ones just stay uh, with us. We so can't sell them. You know, I'm I'm sanding feet for these usually. Yeah, there's some in there as well. um, those little blocks of wood turn into these little bad boys. Really charming. Yeah. I'll leave a link in the description or whatever I'm supposed to do. <laughs> but, Lunaroo. You know, Lunaroo. Okay. Yeah. Really, because we're on the subject of on the subject of life, and then you turn them little blocks of wood into. Yeah, give them you give them life. Yeah. And then some child gnaws on it. And maybe one day Somewhere. if we understand consciousness, we can somehow put consciousness, put consciousness into, into the doll. The dolls, yeah. ah. You never know. Hopefully. I'm not Robin. I'm... Uh, Ryan! I think if these weren't looked after... Um, they'd be dead. They'd be dead. <laughs> Be dead. Yeah. But I said to Carl, I says, why have we even got these? Like, we've just got rid of a load of stuff. Right. And then she brings more things into the house. Yeah. And like, you know, I, I cleaned all the kitchen, sorted it all yeah. out, put this new microwave in, dishwasher and everything. And then there's a shitload of plants. <laughs> and then she was like, well, I'm going to plant them in the garden. And I was like, well, they'll be dead before then. You <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? I had a, I had a, um, a succulent... Um, that I looked after for a couple of months, right, and uh, it grew. Um, I was positive to it every day because I heard, you know, positive vibrations in it. Oh, that yeah. can help a plant to grow. Um, you know, I've... That's actually brilliant. Yeah, 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 farmers, they put the radio on and all that, don't they? Yeah. Um, but, uh, it, yeah, um, this, this, this plant, uh, it grew really nicely and it was, it was, it was really vibrant in its colour. And then someone told me that if you put room temperature water on it, like rain temperature, it'll help it grow. So I put it under the tap and put the hot water on it. It was dead within a day. Mm. Yeah, so uh, I didn't do too good. You look nice today. Oh, you too. I love you. I hope you live a full and happy life. You beautiful, beautiful, beautiful entity. Life. <laughs> well, I think I'd get you in it then. <sighs> I didn't think that life was going to be the subject. You know, really, it's supposed to be about, you know, life as a musician, but I suppose that there's not much going on at the moment. Uh, and now you, you had it. You had it. As far as I know. Um, I'm filming this on about 8% battery. But, um,. Probably be shorter. Probably just bare ramblings of two nutcases. You know, we're both songwriters, you see. So we both used got an we both got an affliction. He says used to be, but once a songwriter, always a songwriter. It's a little bit like when you join a cult. You know, like the KKK. I always thought my next album would be when I retire. When you retire? Yeah. <laughs> From what? From life. From life, exactly. You'll be dead. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're all saying, it.
So remember, no matter what philosophy you live by, no matter your spirituality, your race, colour, your sexuality, you know, um, just your beliefs in general, no matter what, we all die. We all get dead. Well, you've had uh, some potential work. Uh, what did they say? Did they say anything interesting? I don't know what people do. It's people just send emails and they never respond. Huh? I think they do it in a moment of madness, like an amphetamine yeah. thing, you know. Take loads of amphetamines, email everybody. Yeah. Oh. Hey, yeah. <sighs> there hasn't been much to do in the world of coronavirus, but um, for me, oh God, 5% battery. Sorry. Yeah, but for me and Jamie as musicians, we lost pretty much everything, then had to do something else. And now look at him. I'm actually, um, I'm in the run, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the running to become his carer one day. Yeah. I think that'd be a strange apocalypse. Yeah, you already are. I reckon in the apocalypse, you'd be, you become a carer for somebody you didn't expect you'd be a carer for. Mm. Like, I don't know. Hey, yeah. So this episode was uh, a bit smaller than the first one, a bit shorter in length, but you know, the, this day was a bit of an, an off chance anyway. I wasn't initially going to do one, but again, you know, if, you, if you're if you enjoying the content so far, then like and subscribe and give it a share or whatever. Uh, I'm planning on doing a lot more episodes anyway, like two, three times a week. And then, um, yeah, there'll be other videos in between as well. I'm going to do some of my favourite albums, some of my favourite songs, and I'm going to, you know, talk about uh, various subjects in the field of music. So, yeah, just keep... Keep on board. Life. <laughs> <laughs>